Greetings everybody. My name is uh, Anshu Mansina. Uh, I am from uh, Patna city in the state of Bihar, India. And uh, today I'll be showing you how to edit your micro photographs, the uh, pathology slide photographs uh, on your mobile phones. Uh, many times it happens that uh, a lot of uh, photographs uh, people post on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, but uh, uh, the image quality is not uh, that great uh, so we'll be learning how to edit the photographs uh, of course uh, the best uh, best uh, best devices for taking photographs are the uh, uh, mic uh, microscope cameras uh, commercial microscope cameras that are available uh, along with uh, editing in the uh, Photoshop app but uh, 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 many people do not have access to uh, such cameras and uh, also many people including me uh, do not know how to operate the Photoshop app so so the next be best thing is uh, uh, your uh, photo editing apps on on our mobile phones so Let's get started. Uh, uh, now the app that I use is uh, the Snapseed app uh, that you see. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, in the third last row, uh, there is the second icon that is Snapseed app. So we'll click it open. Right. Now on the top left, on the top left corner you see the open icon you click on that to select the photo that you want to edit and this uh, leads you uh, to a gallery now we'll click on the top left and open images and select the photo that you want to edit so uh, this photograph is of an uh, angiomyolipoma uh, of the kidney that I had posted on my Twitter feed. Yeah. So now we start editing the app. Uh, on the bottom right, you see this uh, pen shaped icon in a white circle. That is your editing app. So you click on that. And as you move your fingers up and down, you see all these options, uh, various editing options that you see. Uh, uh, on the top left, you see the tune image. Uh, on the right of it is the details, below it is the crop. So these three are the uh, main three options that I play around with mostly. And also sometimes the white balance. So first of all what we'll do is we'll crop uh, the photographs. So we click on the crop icon. Now you see this uh, box with uh, uh, your edges marked on the screen. Now you move your finger on the edges and drag it uh, drag it to the dimensions of your choice yeah that looks uh, good enough now we'll click on the arrow that is at the bottom right of the screen means uh, you're okay with this editing yeah so that looks uh, good enough now you can see that this photograph is not of a very good quality uh, the details are not very clearly visible uh, it's a sort of blurred now so we'll get on with the editing we'll click on the bottom right uh, editing icon and uh, on the top right you see the details icon so we'll click on the details now if you move your fingers up and down on the screen you get two options the structure and the sharpening uh, if you now if you move your fingers towards the right and towards the left uh, this uh, the structure of the structural details of the uh, photograph is increased or decreased so as you move your fingers towards the right the structural details are very clearly visible now yep so that is good now we again click on the bottom right uh, the tick mark means that is okay now if you want to see compare it to the original that we had long press on the screen 
so that was the original crop image that we had and this was after increasing the details if you want to de yeah, increase the details furthermore you can again click on the editing icon and click on details and select structure or sharpening and uh, move your fingers towards the right now you can see the uh, structural details of the cell is even more clearly visible now uh, now we click on the tick mark at the bottom right of the screen the the photograph looks much better than the original now uh, now if you want to play around uh, if you want to uh, change the color or warmth or the white balance of these photographs you can now go on the editing icon at the bottom right and click on the first icon that is tune image now when you move your fingers up and down on the screen you get all these options brightness contrast saturation ambience highlights shadows and warmth so if you look at this photograph it has a, a sort of yellow hue to it, to it. so uh, if you move your fingers up and down and select the warmth and move your fingers left or right you can see there's a change in the color of the photographs as you move towards the right means as you're increasing the warmth it can be seen at the top of the screen as you're increasing the warmth the light becomes more yellowish and as you decrease the warmth it becomes more towards a whitish so we decrease the warmth a little bit and that looks good enough and click uh, the arrow at the bottom right now again we go to tune images we uh, I'd like to increase the ambience just a little bit uh, okay not that much and increase the highlight just a little bit and I'd like to increase the shadows a little bit just to give the image a more crispness yeah and of course uh, it could use a little more color so I'll just increase the saturation just a wee bit so as you go along uh, using this app you get a hang of it and it is pretty easy to use yeah now you can uh, click on the bottom right arrow to save all these changes that you have made and if you long press on the screen and compare it to the original unedited that we had and to the image that you have now you can see a uh, vast difference in the two images now a lot of times uh, people ask uh, as to how can we add a bookmark or a tag to the photograph so this app uh, gives an option for that too uh, in the second last row if you see uh, the icon on the left that reads text with a double T if you click on that uh, 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 if you look at the screen it uh, it show it reads double tap here to change the text you tap it twice now you can change the text here this is my twitter handle you can follow me on twitter now you see, you see these various icons in the bottom uh, uh, on the bottom left is, is the cross means you want to cancel the changes on the bottom right is the tick mark means you want to save the change and uh, the three icons in the middle uh, if you click on them uh, they are basically for changing your font of the text uh, or changing the opacity of the text I mean if you move your fingers towards left or right you can change the opacity and the second icon is for choosing the color what color of the text that you want if you move two finger two fingers on the screen you can increase or decrease the, uh, the size of the text and you can drag this text uh, along with your fingers to your uh, to wherever you want to put it yeah. that looks okay just increase the opacity a little bit yeah now you can click on the bottom right arrow to save these changes right 
Now if you long press on the screen and compare it with the original image that you had, you'll see the obviously the newer image looks a lot better. Uh, it has a lot of clarity and uh, the details are visible very nicely. Also I've added uh, the text that I wanted. Now to save uh, this photograph, uh, on the top uh, on the top left you're seeing the open icon. Don't click on that. Uh, on the right of it, in the middle, there's this down download shaped icon. You click on that, you get uh, various options. Now, and now if you press on save, your photograph will be saved. So I hope this uh, helps you in uh, editing your photographs better. Obviously uh, a mobile app cannot replace Photoshop which, uh, which is the gold standard but uh, I think this is the next best thing. There are many apps that are uh, available on uh, uh, the uh, Play Store or App Store. Uh, so you can download any and uh, if you play around with it you get a hang of how to use those apps and they're very useful so thank you uh, i hope uh, this video has helped you thank you